Hey everyone, James here, and we're back with another do-it-yourself video on sump pumps and sump pits. The objective of today is to ensure that your sump pump is gonna be operating as it should for when the heavy rains come. We're gonna be going through the tools that you'll need and the procedure that you'll need to follow in order to ensure that your sump pump is operating as it should. Let's get started. So here are the tools that you're gonna need. A five gallon bucket filled about halfway with water, a spray bottle with your household degreaser or cleaner, a reusable zip tie, a flashlight, a flathead screwdriver, a long scrubbing brush, and a pair of disposable gloves. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do is we're gonna to need to remove the sump lid. So any sump lid is gonna be fastened down. Some are fastened down with nails, some are fastened down with screws. This one is fastened down with screws. So we're gonna take our screwdriver and we're gonna take off these screws first. Okay, so now that we have the screws removed, we're able to remove the sump lid. And what I recommend is having your reusable zip tie so we can tie off part of the sump lid that's not so easy to re be removed. Okay. So now that we have access, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to engage our external float switch, which is going to operate our sump pump. So the next part is we want to give this pit a nice good cleaning. So we're going to take our cleaning solution and our long arm scrub brush, and we're just going to basically spray the pit because some pumps and some pits can be very dirty and small bad. Okay, great. So it passed that test. So the next one is we want to completely fill this pit with the pumps unplugged. So we're going to take our five gallon bucket filled with water and we're going to pour it in. Now we can see that the water level is up to the very top of our mechanical float switch. So when we plug everything in, it should engage right away. And remember, it's important, plug everything back in. Great, and there we have it. A sump pit that is completely drained with a properly activating float and sump pump. The very last step is to close everything up now. Okay, we'll put that last piece right on. And then we're gonna put back the screws that fasten it down. All right, and that's it. So let's do a quick recap of everything that we did. So first thing is we removed that sump lid and we did a visual inspection of our pit. We're gonna mechanically engage our external float switch to make sure that that sump pump is operating as it should. Once we do that inspection, we're gonna unplug everything and do our flood test of all the water that we had gotten in our five gallon bucket. Once we filled up the pit, we're gonna plug everything back in and make sure plug everything back in. Once it's all plugged in, we're gonna make sure that that sump pump is operating as it should, and that's it. Final step is to put the sump lid back on top. So as you can see how simple it is to check your sump pump once a year. And we do recommend at least once a year, just as important as checking your furnace. So we'll see you next time for the next do-it-yourself video where we're gonna test humidity in your basement or crawl space.